everybody! With musicians like Beyonce, Drake, and Selena all collaborating with Afrobeats artists, the Afrobeats genre is beginning to truly dominate the U.S. pop music scene. Our next guest is known as the king of Afrobeats. He's had the longest charting Nigerian song in Billboard history, no big deal, and the first Nigerian music video to reach 100 million views on YouTube. His new album is called Timeless. It's out now. Everybody, please give a warm welcome for David O. Thank you. You was out here looking so cool in pink. Yes. I must, I must say this. I grew up watching you and um, oh. yeah. My sister, my older sister was the biggest Kelly Clarkson. Oh my god. Well she has better taste than so you. So she then. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I'm honored to be here. You know, it's a dream come true. Aww. You know, all the way from Africa to, you know, be here with all you guys. It's oh cool. no, thank you. Thank you as well. Thank you for coming. Okay, so like I love this story. Yeah. Your dad yeah. was very upset with you that yeah. you left school, right? Because yeah, yeah. you, you wanted to produce, you yeah, wanted to... My family, I come from a big, big family that's really big on education. Like, yeah. I'm first generation entertainer in my, in my whole line of blood, bloodline. So... You know what I'm saying? So they he were was, not excited. He was, he, <laughs> was, he was really adamant about me finishing school. One, because I hadn't made it yet. Yeah. Two, because... You know what I'm saying? He, he didn't mind me doing music, but he was really bent on me, you know, finishing school. He owns a university. Yeah. So you can He owns a university, university yeah, so you and can... you didn't stay in school? <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so, so you can imagine. And my mom's... Uh, uh, oh, my, my God. My mom was a college professor, so... Oh, imagine. my gosh! I think they, I think they're also scared because they want... You, whatever you want your kids to do, you want them to be successful in it. And yeah. In our business, it's not it's that hard. easy to be successful. So... You know, um, we kind of made a deal where I go to school like two weeks out of the month and the other two weeks I can be in the studio and then do what I want. How did that deal work out with the classroom? Because you just... So, so okay. and then the, the deal also, um, you know, my dad is a very successful man, you know, yeah. very wealthy. So I was like, all right, you gonna, you gonna give me some bread for my music? <laughs> I love you so much. You're like, you set me up, I will do this. Yeah, so that, that was really the deal. But the thing is that, my music was always good, you know what I'm saying? And he knew that. So the more I was going away for two weeks, doing the music, dropping videos, my music was getting bigger. And bigger. Then, yeah. So it got to a point where I was a distraction to the class. So I'm like, yes. No. I love it, yes, I've made it. <laughs> yeah, like I was a distraction to the class. So I'm like, I don't even gotta leave by myself. They, they telling me to get out, you know what I'm saying? I love it. You know, so after a while, then I, I kinda had to do like a per time class type stuff. Yeah. And then I was getting too big and then he got mad, mad. I'm talking about he see a billboard of me doing a show, the show going to get canceled before I even get there. Oh my God. He has that Hardcore. type of power. Yeah, that type of power. What a power. You know what I'm saying? Man. So it got to a point where everybody was being scared to book me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know what? This I'm, is a movie. Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, this is crazy. Your life is a movie. This is crazy. So at that time, I had a song that was like, and at this time, I had a song probably like, it was like top 20 on the charts in Africa. But then the next song I made went number one. Like the president of... Congrats. The president, yeah. yeah. The president's like rocking out The president, the president <laughs> of the country, my song was his ringtone. So like, after that, I was, after that, You're like... You're like, I am not showing up for class. <laughs> so, sorry, bro. <laughs> so eventually though, you know, I went back and I, I did finish, uh, cause I only had like a year and a half left. So eventually, yeah. um, I did finish though. I love that your dad, though, he's seen you like being all successful on Billboard. He's like, no, I'm gonna shut that down. You, yeah. you made a deal. Yeah, you, you made, made a, deal. a deal. And now he's the biggest fan. I love that. Yeah, he's the biggest fan. Yeah. It was important. That's, a, that's amazing. It's supportive in a chaotic way. <laughs> it's like, so wait, you, you named the album Timeless. Timeless, yes. And then I heard, did you go in, I've actually done this before, yeah. because your life kind of changes and it alters some of the songs. But I heard you went in and re-recorded some of the, the music for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know how it is, like, we know how it is when you, you sit on something for so long, yeah. you get tired and then you just, I kind of got in a different space, yeah. um, you know, when like the album was getting finished. So I told the label, I was like, yo, can I get like three, four more months? You know, yeah. I went back home to my key producers, the people that I was working with in the hood before I left to all the glitz and glamour. Like I yeah. went back to the hood. 
and I, I brought everybody together, and we all sat down. And under three months, we completed the album, and it's my my biggest biggest charting album till date. Man, congratulations! You know That's so awesome. I love the coming back to like the, your crew yeah. when you first were inspired and you first were like, "There's nothing like that high," you know. Whenever you're first getting started, I love that. Of course, and you know, with our music, of course, there's a lot of like Afro fusion. Of course, we get inspired by people like you, people. Over here, rappers, R&B. Inspired by everything. R&B's yeah. life, yeah. But with this record, I really wanted to take it back home. And yeah. it's being respected worldwide. Cool. You know what I'm saying? That's just amazing. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Everybody, let's do a quick commercial break. David O's new album is called Timeless. It's out now. It's incredible. You got to check it out. You can also join him at this um, Are We African Yet Festival in Atlanta on November 18th. We'll be right back, everybody. Yeah.